The fire of passion does not exist for him who has completed the journey. He is free from sorrow and has broken all ties. The mindful are active. They are not attached to any home. They leave their home like swans the lake. Those with no possessions who feed themselves with true knowledge and who perceiving that life is empty and transient realize the goal of unconditioned freedom. Their path is hard to trace like that of birds in the sky. He who is not attached to food, who perceives that life is empty and transient, who realizes the goal of unconditioned freedom, his path is hard to trace like that of birds in the sky. Even the gods hold him dear, whose senses are subdued like the horses well trained by the charioteer, whose pride is destroyed and who is free from defilements. There is no traveling through births and deaths for him who doesn't react like the earth, who is firm like a thunderbolt and pure like a deep lake free from mud. Calm in mind, calm in speech and deeds is he who has freed himself through right knowledge. He has become tranquil. He is still. The man who is without blind faith, who has severed all ties, destroyed all desires, who knows the uncreate, he indeed is the most excellent among men. Inspiring are the places where arhats dwell, be it a village or the wild, a valley or a plateau. The passionless find delight in the forests, where the worldlings find no charm, for the passionless seek no sensual pleasures. Better than a thousand meaningless words is one useful sentence that, on hearing, brings peace. Better than thousand poems of useless sounds is one useful verse that, on hearing, brings peace. Better than chanting hundreds of meaningless verses is the repeating of one Dhamma saying that, on hearing, brings peace. A man may conquer in battles a thousand times, a thousand men, yet a man who conquers himself is the mightiest of warriors. Self-conquest is better than the conquest of others. Not a god, not an angel, neither Brahma nor Mara could turn into defeat the triumph of one who is ever restrained in conduct. Superior is the homage to one grounded in wisdom, even for a single moment, than a thousand sacrifices for a hundred years. Superior is the homage to one grounded in wisdom, even for a single moment, than tending to the sacred fire in the forest for a hundred years. A man who offers an oblation and sacrifices for an entire year in pursuit of merit is surpassed by the one who pays homage to the righteous. The former's worth does not even amount to a quarter of the latter's. He who respects elders and practices reverence receives four blessings, extended lifespan, enhanced beauty, increased happiness and greater strength. Superior to a hundred year existence of wickedness is the brief existence of a single day of the virtuous man who meditates. Better than a hundred year life of idleness and feebleness is the short life of a single day of the man who diligently strives. Better than the life of a hundred years of the man who doesn't perceive the arising and passing of things is the short life of a single day of the man who perceives the arising and passing of things. Better than the life of a hundred years without perceiving the deathless state is the short life of a single day of the man who perceives that deathless state. Better than the life of a hundred years without perceiving the Supreme Dhamma is the short life of a single day of the man who perceives the Supreme Dhamma. Hasten towards the good. Restrain the evil thoughts. If one is slow in doing good, his mind will hasten in doing evil. If a person commits sin, let him not do it again and again. Let him not find pleasure in it. To accumulate evil brings pain. 
If a person does what is good, let him do it again and again. Let him find pleasure there. To accumulate merit brings happiness. The evil doer will see good fortune as long as his evil deed has not matured. But when his evil would ripen, the evil doer meets the evil. Good people will see bad fortune so long as their good deeds have not matured. When the good deeds ripen, good people receive the pleasant results of their deeds. Do not think lightly of evil saying, it will not happen to me. Constantly falling drops of water slowly fill the water pot. Likewise, a fool fills himself up with evil even if he gathers it little by little. Do not think lightly of good saying, it will not happen to me. Constantly falling drops of water slowly fill the water pot. Likewise, a wise man fills himself up with goodness even if he gathers little by little. One must shun evil just as a merchant with a little escort and great wealth avoids a dangerous way or as a man who loves to live avoids poison. One without a wound on his hand may touch poison. Poison does not affect the one who has no wound. There is no evil for those who don't do it. Like fine dust thrown against the wind, evil comes right back on that fool who offends the inoffensive, the pure and the sinless one. Some men return to the womb. Evil doers are born in hell. The good go to heaven. The stainless attain nirvana. Not in the clouds, not in the middle of the ocean, not in the mountains. A man can run to, to escape the outcomes of his evil deeds. Not in the clouds, not in the middle of the ocean, not in the mountains. A man can run to, where he will not succumb to death. <laughs>